In this installment, we'll be going over the five-game slate, giving you my best bets for Thursday, all right? Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Chef D, and I'm here to give you the winning ingredients for your Thursday night showdown on DraftKings Sportsbook, giving you the best bets for Thursday. We've got a nice five-game slate coming at you, and I'm going to give you my leads on the spread, the total, and the money line, okay, in each one of these games, all right? So let's deep dive into that. But before I do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MessengerZ. Also, follow me on TikTok at Chef underscore D91 on TikTok. That will be located down below as well if you need a little reference there. Now, I did say I was going to bring the betting side to YouTube, and that is what I'm going to do. Here are my plays, okay, for Thursday. Early look, first look. Thing, if things change, I will definitely update you guys either on YouTube or that's why I tell you to follow me on social media if I change my mind on Instagram and TikTok as well. OK, those things are all linked up. So once I post on one, it, it should go to the other as well, especially Twitter and Instagram. All right. So the first game we got going on for Thursday is the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Detroit Pistons. As of right now, there's no injuries on the 76er side. Uh, Pistons, there's no Jeremy Grant, and you have two strengths here. We have the 76ers as a very, very good team on the road. They play totally different on the road compared to at home. They're 25 and 12 away, and then you're in there at home, they're 21 to 17. So, complete difference there. And then you have the Detroit Pistons, who are pretty much top five in the league at covering spreads here, okay? The question mark here is who's motivated. Obviously, Detroit Pistons are always going to play tough and scrappy each and every game. Um, are the Philadelphia 76, 76 76ers comfortable in their current spot? I think I'm going to lean towards, I like that minus 9.5. If you can get it early enough, take the minus 10.5. If it gets past to that 12, 13, then you're looking at a little bit of gray area. 76ers have too much firing power going up against the Detroit Pistons for them to stay close, especially with no Jeremy Grant. These are things that are uh, going to hamper the Pistons going up against the Philadelphia 76ers. If they had Cade Cunningham and Jeremy Grant, then yes, um, I would think they'd keep it just a little bit closer. But a lot of people are going to be smacked. A lot of public money is going to be on that spread. For the Pistons to cover, I think the 76ers bounce back after a two-game losing streak and really put a hammer down on the Detroit Pistons. So we're going to go with the spread, minus 10.5. If I had to choose um, the over-under, I'm going to take the under in this game. I think 76ers can obviously score at will. Can the Pistons keep up pace in the previous three matchups? The under has hit in the majority of them, so we're going to go with the under in that game i think the 76ers will be able to score and they can slow down the detroit pistons easy and obviously i like the money line on the 76ers side as well the next game we got going on is the milwaukee bucks against the brooklyn nets brooklyn nets are home and this yes kyrie is back kyrie and katie are back together uh a very a disappointing loss in that other game against the pistons but they bounced back against well they, they <laughs> against the pistons but they bounced and they lost against the Hornets. That was a very um, unsatisfactory loss right there. But the Nets are home. This is a very, very tight game. A lot of split money is going to be on this one. Um, I, the Nets need to move up. I think there's more um, urgency on the Brooklyn Nets side to get this one, especially over the Milwaukee Bucks, who uh, they definitely want to prove something against who they lost in the playoffs again uh last season so i like the next money line i like the over in this game um and the point spread is minus one at this point right now so it really doesn't matter you might as well choose the money line all right it's not much difference from minus 110 to minus 115 i think the nets get a big win here at home um i think Kyrie finally wakes up from his little slump the last past two games and they get a nice big win 
um, on national television. The next game we're going to look at is the Cleveland Cavaliers against the Atlanta Hawks. We have a minus five in the Hawks' favor, a 220 over under. Um, and we have both of these teams coming in on a no rest. Okay. So on no rest currently right now, the Cavs are seven and six on no rest and the Hawks are six and eight with no rest. So we do have to factor that in a little bit. We have the Hawks coming in off a blowout, um, that they're going on right now. If we just scroll up, I think it will show us, um, they are currently blowing out the OKC thunder 112 to 85. Most likely the starters are getting a minimal minutes. It's a lot of bench play. So you can say there's not going to be very weak legs on the Hawks side. Cavaliers just lost to the Dallas Mavericks. Um, I don't know if you want to say fatigues will be a factor, but I will say that Atlanta Hawks are very, very strong home team, 24 and 14 at home. And the Cavaliers are 18 and 19 on the road. Plus you factor in, there's no Jaron Allen and no Evan Mobley. And you have a little bit of a situation here. Hawks have been very dominant at home. So I love the minus five here. Uh, I think the Hawks get a nice back-to-back -back win here. And unfortunately, Cavs are going to have to take a loss. There's a lot of firepower, even without John Collins uh, on his team and even Danilo Gallinari, that the Hawks can still put up big numbers with Trey Young, with Kevin Herter, with Bogdanovich. Uh, and the list goes on and on. I think that's too much firepower for the Cleveland Cavaliers, who were tough, but they've been losing. They lost their two Twin Towers, and they have Kevin Love, who's uh, older Kevin Love, and that is not a good recipe, okay? Um, he's still been productive, but you got a back-to-back -back situation. Things can awry. In this particular game, I still I like the over in this one. I think points will come to an abundance, especially when Atlanta is, is at home. The over tends to hit. And I like, obviously, I like Atlanta uh, money line. But if you want to get the better value, the bet better value is taking the Hawks at minus five. OK, that means they have to win by five points minimum. All right. Next game we have are the L.A. Clippers going up against the Chicago Bulls. Bulls are on the uh, are at home. Clippers coming off a huge win against the Utah Jazz. We'll talk about the Jazz a little bit later. But here we have a LA Clippers team trying to get acclimated, getting ready for the playoffs. They're really trying to make a statement there, making the most of these next couple of games with Paul George in the lineup between him, Reggie Jackson. I think they got a nice little thing going on here. Chicago on the other side have been very up and down, not consistent, struggling on the defensive side. Even with Alice Caruso back, they have been struggling. In this particular game, I think it means more for the LA Clippers to get things acclimated. I want to take advantage of this plus three and a half. Um, I think Paul George is coming is a man on a mission, man. He is a man on a mission right now, especially after that performance coming back against the Utah Jazz. Uh, I think they're the more motor, more motivated team. Even without Paul George, they were very scrappy. Now to get their leader back, and I think that really rejuvenated this team. Um, so give me the Clippers with the plus three and a half. If I'm choosing the over and the under, I'm going with the under. When you add Paul George, you saw it last night. The defense really, really clamped down and really limited uh, Donovan Mitchell and the other guys in that second half of the ball game. So when you um, factor in Paul George, that defense rating goes way up. I like the under. I like the cover for the Clippers. And I would even take the Clippers on the money line, okay? And then last but not least, for our bets video, we have the LA Lakers going up against the Utah Jazz. We already know no AD, no LeBron James. Utah Jazz, they're going to have a lot of question marks. You're going to have to wait on this one because maybe Donovan Mitchell sits. Maybe Rudy Gobert is in and out. We don't know about Bogdanovich. Uh, so there's a lot of question marks there. Uh, I think if if I'm just saying right now, I think Mitchell plays and I think Rudy Gobert plays. I don't think Bogdanovich is back yet. But you have a team who struggles, who's on a five-game losing streak, to be 100% honest. They just gave up a 25-point lead to the LA Clippers. Um, you have a situation here. Can they cover? I don't think. The Lakers will win. I, I'm pretty positive about that the Lakers wouldn't win this game. The question is, can they keep it close? 
I do not want to be on the Lakers side. I really don't. Even despite the fact that the Jazz gave up that 25 point lead, there's not anyone on the Lakers side that can do what Paul Ge what Paul George did. I don't think they even have it in them on the Lakers side. So we're gonna go with the cover on the Utah Jazz, bouncing back from that embarrassing loss. Uh, we're gonna go with. The Lakers play no defense. We're going to go with the over, over on the 225 as well. And obviously, the money line is minus 850. There's no value in that. That's why we're taking the cover. If you're concerned, I do think that the Jazz at least win by double digits. So you can bump that down to minus 9.5. If you do not want to play the spread, then just take the over, okay? Take the over. I think the Jazz put up plenty of points. I think Lakers are trying to play catch up and just get a lot of easy bas baskets in that end of the second half and they just slightly go over on the over because i don't think this is much of a close close game here i don't think it comes down to the neck or down to the wire i do think utah jazz assert themselves knocking down that three-point ball and get a win okay a much much needed win all right so those are going to be our plays for thursday uh, starting off with the 76ers, I think they cover, and I like the under in that game. I like the Nets over the the Milwaukee Bucks. I like Atlanta to cover against the Cavs. I like the Clippers um, in a much much uh, you know motivated situation here to win and cover against the Chicago Bulls. I like the under in that game as well with Paul George back, and I also am leaning towards Utah Jazz to cover and a Utah Jazz over in that game. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any other suggestions at any of the games that I just spoke about. Maybe you like the over on a, another particular game. Maybe you like a different team that I that I said opposite of, all right? Let me know in that comment section down below. We can definitely, de definitely discuss that. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MessengerD. And also follow me on TikTok as well at chef underscore d 91 i'll be back very soon with another video and peace out